Hey, how's it going, everybody? It's Elsie Bradley 3K, and today we're gonna check out the Cry Engine 3 demo, which is actually available in the SDK. Unlike Unreal Engine, this is more of a, I guess you could say, developed community-wise engine. There's a lot of maps for it that I made, but this is the default one that comes with the engine. So we'll do a quick walkthrough. I used to play this back in the earlier stages, but it's really been enhanced since I just actually downloaded the newest update because I got a lot of good feedback on the Unreal Engine 4. So I figured why not give this a try because there were some comments too comparing and contrasting the two overall. So I'll try not to speak too much, but uh, obviously you have a gun and it works. You can shoot. Okay. <laughs> you can shoot stuff. Uh, let's see what else you got. That doesn't make a sound, and you have a pistol with a light. So this is more of an actual natural environment. There wasn't really many of those in the Unreal Engine, but it doesn't mean there can't be, you know? All right, I'll run through here. And I think one thing that is really better in this is the water. Um, there's a few other things that each have better areas in, but the water for sure, very nice. And here you'll see we'll go under in a second. But the trees and the leaves, Everything's just great. Let's see. And obviously it's kind of similar to uh, Crisis to play that because it is Cry Engine. Alright, let's jump in. Alright, this is a little glitchy because it's like a waterfall, but you'll see. Did I already get stuck? <laughs> Not today. Alright, so yeah, we just swam down that waterfall. That was a little sketchy. And we should be able to keep going. There's a lot of life in the water, too. Some uh, frogs. I think there's some fish and plants as well. And there's a town up there that we'll see. I know I'm going the stupid way, but this is just for you to get an example of the water. You can see the plants. When you look up, a little blurry for the clouds and the sun glare. And it darkens as you get deeper. When you come up, you have that little um, water over the screen. So we'll get out and walk towards the town. And like I said, it really has changed a lot. I played it, this uh, same map in version 3.4 of the Cry Engine, and this is version 3.5. Uh, I don't have a video of 3.4, but the map is exactly the same, but just the difference in lighting and everything is incredible. You can't enter any of these, any of these houses, I don't think. Oh, yeah, you can. Oh. I don't know how to open the door. Enter, maybe? Space? <laughs> All right, let's just look in the window, because I have no idea how to open this door. All right, we'll move on. Actually, I can probably get the control sheet out here. This is the menu, and uh, show controls. And when we're not in vehicle, switch items, uh, use, pick up. So I guess that's F most likely. All right, we'll try F. No, I don't want to. I want to resume. Alright, let's try to go on the door again. But that was a... I gave you a good glimpse of the menu. Oh, it does open the door. Cool sound effect. Um, it's hard to, like, contrast, really, but I think the indoor settings of the of the uh, Unreal Engine beats this up by a little, and then the nature settings. This definitely wins, I would say. Alright, we'll walk around to the other side. And I would... Play, give you guys some of the um, footage of different community-made maps, but there isn't that much a community for maps more than there is mods. There's a lot of like mods for Crisis and stuff like that, and I'm surprised it's not a bigger community. Full ocean and a lighthouse over there. I'm gonna try to get to the lighthouse. I think in a boat. I don't remember there being boats in the previous version. Yeah, this is basically like a nature version, an extreme nature version of Crisis. And, uh, yep. I'll walk over to the other side, try to get to the lighthouse. Can I go in here, maybe? Yep. I think all the houses are pretty much the same. Ooh, water. Now there's a back door to nothing. <laughs> and I don't, I don't know if I can get in these or not. Oh, I can. This was not a feature in 3.4. Never been in here, actually. Full lighting, and uh, that's really it. I'll move on. And uh, just let me know what you think of this too, because 
I wonder what you guys think of. If you've seen the uh, Unreal Engine video, I can link that in the description, but you can try to compare for yourself which one you like better, and just discuss it in the comments if you'd like, and I'll try to get back to you on my own opinion too, which you pretty much already heard. But the vegetation overall is fantastic, I think. And I might be able to even enter the lighthouse. I don't know if that was a feature. But I'm even considering trying some of the game modes, because there's actually like multiplayer game modes. I didn't look too much into it, but I think they're a part of Crisis somehow. Ooh, I didn't want to shut the door. Alright, let's go up the stairs. I've never been in here yet. This is kind of cool. I feel like most of the lighthouses and games you can never enter. Well, at least for, like, Daisy. I guess you could enter it, but they were very small. Um, still got This is a tall lighthouse. Whoa! No! Ah, oh, That was cool. No. It's very glitchy in here. Alright, cool. We got a nice overview. Kind of low-grade fence, but... That's an overview of the entire island. And let me just... Can I... Did I shut the door? I'm so confused right now. There we go. No, don't open up. No! This is so irritating. Stay. Stay. Yay, we made it to the light. And that is really it. Can I jump out? I want to try to jump out. Alright, that is it for the CryEngine 3.5 demo and thanks for watching leave a like if you want to see more content from this engine i can actually there's a lot of video opportunities and uh subscribe if you are not already have a good day